so I um, thought I'd give you an update on my bonsai collection. I showed you the uh, collection about three or four weeks ago. At the time, uh, the uh, bonsais were mainly not in leaf. And here we have the first one I showed, uh, which is the um, hornbeam. Um, and this has more or less fully in leaf. It's growing rather large and I'm going to trim it around the edges and probably take some cuttings. Here we have the oak tree. Uh, this was budding last time, but the leaves have now come out. And this too is developing well. Um, I'll just show you a close-up of the leaves. And the buds healthy and uh, ready to uh, open up fully. Uh, here we have the field maple. This was also just in bud at the time. The leaves have opened up and there are a number of buds uh, growing on the side of the tree which I'm going to probably allow to grow fully uh, so that at bare areas of the tree can fill out a little bit. Uh, there is another um, field maple which I didn't show you last time um, and this is also developing well. I've had a little bit of problem with uh, green flower black fly spray the tree and the leaves didn't seem to react too well to the spray, uh, but seems to be recovering now. This is a very thick root at the base of the tree, um, which I quite like. I'll just show a close up of that. Um, here we have the myrtle tree. This, of course, is an evergreen, uh, but the leaves from last year have kind of died down a little bit and new buds are appearing. I just want to show you some detail on the trunk. I think it's actually very attractive. I don't know if it can do it justice, but it has a very interesting flaking bark and orangey colour. If I can turn it around a little bit to catch the light, um, it does give it an appearance of age and is very attractive. Um, as I mentioned last time, I have a tree growing in my garden when I grow a bush. And I have a ready supply of cuttings. They're very easy to cut. Just take um, um, a heel cutting and plant it in some compost and it will grow. Uh, this is the myrtle bush. It doesn't look particularly attractive, uh, but uh, there is the advantage uh, that the leaves have a very uh, sweet aromatic um, aroma and uh, would be a very a nice addition to any bonsai collection and any garden for that matter. Here we have the um, small fig tree that I mentioned. Uh, this was found growing in uh, one of the containers in my garden, uh, seeded by a bird. Um, I have no idea where it came from, uh, but the leaves are extremely small uh, compared to a, a normal size fig. And this tree is probably three or four years old, so uh, the leaves would be uh, larger uh, if this was a full-size tree. Uh, just to give you an idea of the scale, here's my finger and that's the size of the leaves. They'll grow a little bit bigger uh, but not very much. I'm looking forward to taking some cuttings in the autumn. Here we have um, the silver birch tree uh, which was bare of leaves last time. I've also repotted it um, and um, it is growing well. Uh, next to it on the right hand side is another silver birch tree also collected at the same time as growing in some brickwork and uh, this one remains in a rather small pot. I'm not so keen on small pots as they tend to dry out uh, so I may be repotting it at some point. Uh, here we have the dwarf pomegranate tree which I've also repotted as it was in a rather small pot which didn't um, show the form of the tree particularly well. Um, this is just beginning to come out into leaf and um, I'm looking forward to a full leaf tree with flowers and possibly even some fruit. Uh, here we have the um, Canadian maple tree. Um, I wrongly described it as the green maple but in fact as you can see it's the red maple. Uh, this as mentioned was collected from seed. It's now probably about 15 years old um, and I would really recommend um, collecting some seeds. Um, the seeds, if I can recollect, were gathered from a tree in Springfield Park in North London and I'm sure the tree's still there. Maybe a trip 
autumn time will furnish you with some seeds which can be planted over the winter and you'll have a crop of potential bonsai saplings uh, the next spring. Uh, here we have the other Canadian maple this time, uh, the green one, wrongly described as the red one last time, but the leaves are opening up and they are certainly green and I'm looking forward to um, a full tree in due course. As I mentioned, the leaves tend to be too large for bonsai, but um, given time, hopefully the leaves will reduce in size. Uh, again, the same tree seeds can be collected from that park I mentioned for the red maple. Here we have the standard uh, maple tree, uh, which I was an originally uh, a cutting, which I have uh, cut off on the top and uh, allowed to grow. This will be allowed to grow fairly unchecked so that the branches thicken and the trunk thickens. Um, and uh, perhaps I will download further videos showing progress with this tree. Uh, finally, uh, here's the corkscrew willow, uh, which again I've just allowed to grow unchecked and uh, this will thicken the trunk and the branches and will mainly just require cutting back as it has quite vigorous growth. I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this um, video, an update on my uh, bonsai collection. Uh, these are mainly homegrown, well, actually all of them are homegrown. Uh, some collected from seed, some cuttings that I've taken from trees I've growing in the garden and hopefully I've demonstrated that um, it's fairly easy to um, have a visitor, a um, very friendly uh, robin. Um, uh, hopefully everyone will stay safe and uh, look forward to the next upload uh, perhaps in a few weeks time.